Hey everyone, welcome back to Quest 64. As you can see, I have exactly 100 HP, exactly 55 MP, and exactly 25 wind, as I had planned. And yes, I did grind for mm, about 30 minutes. Not horrible. It's not hours upon hours of grinding. And of course, these are not like crazy numbers either. Uh, yeah, it's just just what I was hoping to get before we head this way deeper into the forest um, I did get the Lamias again I did try uh, didn't really do well they didn't kill me but I, I escaped what I was able to do was simply with restriction level 2 I was able to freeze one but not the other so i wasn't able to really go through with that um yeah i came from back there all right yeah we can see the little house little hut so i go this way ah there it is there it is um hi boss What's up? How nice are you going to be to me? Or how much of a dick? Well, let's see then. Get out of my way, brat. I'm the one who holds the wind jade. All you who belittled my power are about to be blown to smithereens. Zells, huh? And that's it. He's not even like, I don't know, he's mind controlled or something. He's just blind with power, I guess. Okay, by having 25 wind, I did unlock one new spell. Evade level 2. This really boosts our evasion rate. And might be very useful here. Okay, so that's not so bad. This is what he does. At long range, yeah, he, he uses uh, these zephyrs, they were called. Unfortunately, because he is wind, our wind cutters don't do much. Ugh. They still, like, those still do damage, and our agility buff is gone already, so. While it's nice to have... Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. While it's nice to have uh, an agility buff, since it doesn't last very long, I really don't like the buffs. Oh, hey, it's 101 HP. I really don't like the buff spells because they're just not good enough. Uh-oh, he's getting close. What's he doing? <gasps> Ooh, that could have killed us. And uh, this is a boss, right? So even though I have more movement that way, I can't escape. Wow. Okay, so don't get close to him, right? Now I need... Uh, we're finally going to get to use our honey bread. I need 100 HP. 91, but still. And now he's still going to do that one. Whew. But it's still a straight line, fortunately. Not too horrible. Let's see how our uh, ice knife actually fares against him. Uh, hopefully we can. Twenty-four. So that's not bad, actually, compared to five or six at four damage, which um, is about the same for the same mana cost. Um, the one difference is, once again, this is a single spell. Whew, dodge that one. It's a single spell, so if it misses, it misses. Okay, and these are so random, I've never figured out how to dodge them properly. So I just tank them. That's why I wanted 100 HP. And it's good because uh, we were able to survive that uh, slash on the ground, whatever that is. Because it did, what, 30-some damage? So... Yeah, I'm thinking at this point, if we have another 
Do we have another fresh bread? Yeah, yeah, we grabbed some from the windmills. So we have not honey bread, just fresh. I just want 50 this time. Yeah, here we go. After Normoon. Okay. So we we should have like three, right? Yeah, we got three. Yeah, we'll be fine. Up. Oh, it is a boss battle. You are expected to use your items, I'm pretty sure. Right, so I could I could uh, use wind cutters, but at this distance some might not make it. Some might just miss outright. So I'd end up with like maybe a 12 damage. The ice knife would cost me the same MP. And I think it's more likely. But then again, it's one one hit. So if it misses, it misses, but at least, you know, it's uh, it's damage. Okay. So yeah, the trick is really keep walking away from this guy because otherwise he's gonna use his slash, which as you saw, does a lot of damage. And I'm gonna use a fresh bread right now just to make sure I'm not in that danger zone again. Okay. Yep, ice knife. Oh no, that was a miss. We heard the sound effect, or at least I did. It was a slightly more uh, windy sound. I hate that I say wind to a wind boss. Yeah, if it's only one sound effect, that means the ice knife worked. If you hear like two um, sound that go like this, right, just a ch sound. Yeah, if it's just one, that's the the icicles jabbing into him. If you hear a second one, that's uh, that's a miss. So he's probably gonna be low at this point. But I still want to keep my HP above 50 if I can. Just in case he gets close and I don't see him. Alright, so this is also why I wanted to raise something else than wind. So we have a fighting chance against a wind boss, which I knew was coming, right? Oh, we're out of MP, are we? Okay. Um, he's most likely nearly done. I'm just gonna use a mint leaves. Oh, well, now we're in the danger zone again. And I think I'm out of fresh bread, yeah. Okay, I definitely don't want to use one of these. I'm almost certain I'm too far for him to hit me with this slash, whatever I do, so. 26, that's pretty good. Yeah, he still just uses this. Okay, woof. Yeah, now, now, now I can use a honey bread. There we go. 88. I really don't know how to dodge them. <laughs> Here, having the buff would could help, right? You'd miss, you'd get the miss for a few more of them because I keep getting hit. But again, like it's not lasting long enough. I'd have to spend every other turn casting it, and then I get one turn to cast an attack, and that costs so much MP. It would take too long, and I still get hit anyway. So I might as well just focus damage as much as I can. I'll tank the. I'll tank his hits. We got plenty of HP for that. Don't know how much he's got. But we can't... Oh, that was a miss. Huh. I only heard one sound effect. Ooh. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, there's that danger zone again, but again, I think he's too far. That's a miss. We saw the S. Ooh, uh, yep. Time for a honey bread. Yeah. 
we're using a lot of items in this fight because yeah i guess we just don't have the right element to fight him right okay we can do one more ice knife can't really can't tell if it's a miss or not really wish we could lock the camera like i can like turn and hold b but as soon as i let go it turns away so i think it's because we face away from him when we end our turn i don't know um yeah at this point we have no choice um mm -hmm. more mint leaves i prefer using the lower end items first oh that wasn't too bad of a hit okay come on ice knife hit i don't know if it did but yeah this is just a long battle you just really have to hope you hit jesus danger zone but i can take one more Yeah, I don't want to risk taking another, like, 18 damage, because they do 3 or 4. If 5 hit me, that at 3 is fine. When they do 4, and they tend to do 4, I'm dead, so can't risk it. 85. We're, we're wasting a little bit of the healing potential, but it's I think it's alright. That was certainly a miss, that one. I could I could go back to the wind cutters and ensure at least a little bit of damage. If he doesn't die by the time we're out of MP again. Uh yeah, I'll do that I think. Nice knife. Jeez, okay. So now we have two MP. Which is not enough to cast the ice knife. So I'll Give it a shot with the wind cutter level two. Ha! He died to wind. What a putz. Okay, uh, that was fitting. Well, let's just put that in wind. A wind jade obtained. And yeah, throughout this battle, we took so much hit, so many hits. Look at our HP. We started at one hundred. We quickly got to one hundred five, and then winning the battle. 115. Whew, yeah, that was a long battle. But we're good, we're good. And yeah, let's just dump more wind. Now we know for sure we're not gonna have uh, another wind boss, right? Okay, so did 26 or 27 give us anything new? Doesn't look like it. That's a shame. Ah, well, whatever. Is there another spirit hiding? back here I don't think they'd give us two it it's kind of weird to have that in a boss arena um, also I could have tried going for it but it would not let me gain it mid battle the question mark would not show up uh, I've tried before and I just ended up skipping my turn trying to press the button to get that menu up oh look at the amount of damage you're doing now we're doing uh, i don't want to escape yeah we're doing t up to 20s against the orc and yeah yeah see 20s right there 19s 20s nothing can stand against our wind power now yeah see it's so easy now okay hey guess what this is the bridge that we saw before that is now unlocked and we're back out here look at the map guy no not that look at the map guys yeah we just got out of windward forest we're on the west karma carmog mm -hmm, i guess west Carmag map uh, and yeah we're just gonna make our way back to laravel and see what the water sorceress has to say about us getting the wind jade now that she does have to fight the demons i guess 
coming out of the forest anymore. The unbalance in the elements of wind and water. All right, what do you guys say now? Oi, the bridge is fixed. Little one, that means you can reach normally easily through the forest. Well, yeah, the forest is shorter than the coal hazard. And it's a long way to get to coal hazard. But we can just use the wings. We don't have to travel on foot. Oh, the magician in the woods has gone away. The wind has started to blow again. Right, so... Didn't you say before the problem was that the wind blew the bridge out? I mean, I guess the magician, uh, Zels, uh, uses w strong wind powers to destroy the bridge. Right. Nice. One hit kill. Well, not one hit. Sure, I get it. I get it, but one spell. I mean, one cast. Um. Yeah, I guess I guess uh, Zels uh, completely destroyed the bridge before with his uh, wind magic, which is still weird because the bridge was right there. All they did was lock the door. Yeah, I guess it's an easy way for. Oh, hello! We got new monsters now. I mean, we knew the ghost hounds, but what are these skeletons? Does it only happen after we? Defeat Zells? I don't know. Ow. Okay. I do want to see what they do. Let's still keep trying to defeat the hounds. What do you do? Oh. Well. Okay, so that means you're wind type. Assumedly. But with all the creatures in the windward forest that we defeated, they were not wind. Okay, that's one ghost sound dead, finally. Yeah, you're not a problem. Let's see just how well you take wind. Yep. Once again, we got a wind user that's weak to wind. Yeah, okay, let's try to do a large cutter then. Yeah! Huh? How are you getting close? You got wind. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. He can do the large cutter. You know what? I know the ghost town will hit me, but... Fuck you. Ow. Well, not so bad. Not so bad. If I hit him in melee, yeah. Yeah! Now we're getting somewhere. Ow. Fine. How about a bunch of cutters, then? Asshole. Nice. Okay. So now we'll make our way to Larapool. And yeah. Oh. I mean they're they're fine, we can take them out. Remember, every time you use spells you get a little bit of MP experience. So you might as well, right? Plus, if you get hit, you get HP experience, defense. And if you manage to dodge the the spells, you, you get agility, so why not? I'm not sure how debuff work on that. Like, is a hit still good? Is a miss counted as agility? I don't know. That part, I don't know the mechanics deep enough. Um, but yeah. We'll just make our little way back. Was there anything on this side? No. We didn't check enough last time we, ca we came here. Um, really, guys? You really... Okay. Look at that. That was wrecked. That was wrecking them left and right. And center. They all died. You guys kill your parents. The regular orcs, not the orc juniors. What are you going to do about it? They're orphans now, I guess. Well, let's make them rejoin with their parents. Bye-bye. Fresh bread. Ah. See, even when we have none left, we... 
not, not only can we get some easily from the uh, the townspeople, the monsters give them to us too. Wow, 90 damage out of a large cutter. And you miss like a putz. Oh, I thought that would have reached the orc. I guess he was really just a bit too far. Six damage, what do I care? I have 115 HP now. Oh, hello. Ow. Eh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we do f <laughs> we do gain strength very quick from bosses. Like normally, it's kind of slow. It's more of a grinding game, but when you beat a boss, you get such a jump in HP, not in damage output, just just HP. And then when you come back through previously visited area like this, and we have the hairs that are from the very very beginning area like there's no way nothing here can stand against us like even that oh dude i feel sorry about this yeah even the group of four hell uh ghost hounds that would spawn here i think would be fine taking them on finally but nobody's got time for that Ooh, nice sunset over the waterfall. Where to go to go check out our sorcerer's friend? Uh, not here. I guess, yeah, I guess we could have used the wings to teleport directly here instead of walking back. But remember, like I said, always like take the grind when you can. Because that'll increase your stats slowly, but it will. Okay, okay. She was upstairs, wasn't she? Okay. What do you have to say now? Master Brian, the wind is blowing again. I owe you my hearty thanks. You're indeed a special person. In addition to being the protector of this town, I am also a messenger for Epona of Crystal Valley. Epona is a mysterious person. She can see through anything, and there's nothing she doesn't know. She told me there is something she wishes to tell you. Outside the hotel is the room of the crystal well. When you are ready, proceed to the well. I will guide you to Ethona. Well, we didn't see any well before, so it's got to be that one locked room, right? Which was downstairs. And I believe further downstairs here. Right? Yeah. Yeah, right here. It's a well. It's not really made of crystal smart bricks, but she is here. But first, loot the room. Always loot the room first. When you can. There you go. A silver amulet. Well, we know what that does. Uh, hi. I have been expecting you. Release the protective water and open the road to the sacred water crystal valley. The cavern entrance will appear after the water has subsided. The cavern is very long and the demons numerous, but you must take this route. I have to make sure you are a genuine magician. Epona is waiting in the valley. All right, please hurry. The water will subside for only a short time. May the spirits watch over you on your way. Okay, I guess. Oh yeah, the water is lower, for sure. Now we can actually go down here. So the legends were true. There is indeed a crystal well, and the waters can recede to give us path to what again? Um, yeah, let's just take this wind. Do we have anything new? Yeah. We don't have wind, uh, earth earth because that's silence but we have wind wind earth which is cyclone which i believe this is the little twister that the kobolds were kicking at us and the frog knights isn't it weird that we got that so late oh 
hello that's probably where we need to go huh let's just explore every nook and cranny just to make sure we didn't miss a single spirit so we came out of here okay that's where we get our spirit i just want to make sure right, we don't forget anything and um if we go up here oh oh wait hold on a minute this is below the other door the inn didn't we check here i thought we checked here what the heck well anyway more wind power so we just got another two points of wind so yeah our wind cutters are really gonna cut deep now okay so this in case you were wondering it will be the blue cave behind lara pool as they said though it is a very long long dungeon and it is a cave we cannot use wings in here so if you don't feel confident don't step in but uh i'll be fine and uh you can always walk out if you prefer but this 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 place this is a maze We'll probably have to do it in three sections. There are three sections. Maybe we'll do it in two videos. Maybe maybe we'll exit the cave at the beginning of the third one. I don't know. This one is like about 25 minutes long already. We'll keep going for a bit. So about this place. Uh, you see these stones here. They have arrows on them. So it shows you which way to go. But... A good explorer knows you never follow the arrows. Okay, crawler. Well, that's a bad start. So, we're in the blue cave. These monsters are blue. They just use a ice knife. They're most likely water-based, which means fire would do good. Or we could just use wind, which is the strongest thing we've ever had. We did get strong water for a while, stronger than wind. Ow. Okay, that sucked. Um, but if they're water monsters, uh, any water spell will do like half damage. So our output will be greatly reduced. So it's best to stick to wind. There we go. All right, heal. And heal again. That uh, should be good for a while. Okay, that's I guess that's what we get for ignoring the arrows, right? Oh, whatever. Let's go this way. Oh, another type of jelly, multi optics, but only does that. Oh, not so bad. We can keep them around. Try to focus the crawler. If the crawler freezes us. We can't even escape, right? So. And we can't dodge his attack either. Although multi optics, yeah, that's easy. There we go. They do heal because they're water type enemies. So 15 is a lot. But let's see what one wind cutter does. It misses. Well, <laughs> great. Let's see what one wind cutter does. It misses. Let's see what one wind cutter does. So this is already costing us the equivalent of MP as a wind cutter level three. Just to test this out. Are you kidding me? Well, okay. That that seems fair. I'm still wasting my MP though. There we go. 22. Now. 22. That's not bad. How about a level two? It's almost 20 for each it was 18 19 and 20 so on average pretty much 19 19 20 20 so again so level two is still pretty good like it's three times as strong as almost three times as strong because it's got three and then you can account for misses of course that can happen oh we found a chest just kidding that's a mimic and 
that hurt. That's one of the more dangerous water spells. Uh, it's like a water pillar. It's just many in a straight line. Okay. So were you weak to wind, I wonder? Eh, not horrible. Okay. So yeah, that's a straight line, so it can be dodged. But not if you're close. You won't have enough time to react. Okay, not so bad. And as we can tell uh, from this cave, these tunnels, they're just wide enough. Ooh, another different monster. Scorpions. Okay, well, this attack we know, right? They're like water scorpions. Hmm. Well, we know, based on call hazard, that caves with tight corridors can't spawn monsters. So, they had to make this one just wide enough so that it can, sadly. Otherwise, there would be no challenge here. But, uh, that's not a big deal, is it? We'll just take care of them, fine. We don't really need that much of a challenge. Plus, it's not a big challenge with this kind of spell. Didn't kill though. Oh, what are you doing? Get away from me. Ow. Oof. Oof. Okay, they're smart. They use the line of water pillars um, as they get closer instead of the arrows, which makes it a lot harder to dodge, as I was saying before. So let's not get too close. Yeah, that's fine. Fairly easy to dodge. And even if we get hit by one, it's not the end of the world. So this is not a type of enemy we can reasonably staff to death. It'll have to be all ranged. And we are running low. And the more we miss, the harder it makes it. Okay, well, that's that. Oh, he's gonna use the line. Ah, yeah. And we have no uh, MP left. Okay, does 23, I can do that again. I didn't need to miss again. Damn, okay. Um, um, okay, let's try and get at least as far as possible we can from him before we use a fresh bread that we just got. Okay, so he's not 100% smart. Come on. There we go. Jeez. Hey, more wind. Does that give us anything? Well, we have no mana anyway. Um, no, does not look like anything new. We do have the cyclone, which I did not showcase yet. Which I'll do at some point. Um, but now we need, uh, we need healing. So remember, we went, uh oh, oh. We might have to just escape this. Yeah. We went the opposite way. These guys were in front of us. Right. So uh, we went the opposite way of the arrow stone. So what's going on this way? Man, you guys suck with that. Oh, he also does ice knife when you're too far. That's, that's nice. Okay. So why is there such a long path on the opposite direction of the arrow stones? Right? That makes no sense. Ew. Yeah, it's still not good on MP to fight that many. So I'm gonna just escape. And heal in the process. 
Um, because there's a spirit back here. That's why we came all the way over here. Okay, still nothing new, but power, right? And what's this? This is blocked. Okay, well, that's a shame, right? A very long path for just one spirit. It's all right, we can go back now. Or... Or we could use exit. First, let's escape. There we go. We're back at the entrance. That's a lot of battles saved. A lot of time saved. For you guys, anyway. I guess I could have edited it out and gotten the XP, but because this is an, a hostile dungeon, a cave even, that we can't use wings, well... I don't want to risk it too much. We do have heals, we do have exit, so we should be fairly safe. Okay, so arrows. Um, well, they point forward this way. Uh, but uh, side paths, people, side paths. Okay, okay. I wonder. So generally speaking, when you see a group like this, two of one type and two of the other, and that you see one in particular go first, most likely the other of the same type will go next. So now I'm betting that the other scorpion goes. Yep, he's getting closer though. Ah, but not close enough. Okay, what about these little guys? Okay, I'm glad that didn't freeze me. Um, yeah. Ooh, that means I got both scorpions. Yeah, see? You need to try and uh, analyze what your enemies do. Is a thing I've said before. But the more you figure out what they do and how they work, the better it'll be for your future battles. Okay, sadly this one is a dead end with nothing in it. If only it had something, right? But no, no spirit, no chest, no nothing. But then again, that's just the first dead end, right? Oh, oh. what are you doing? What are you doing? Get away from me. Ow, that's not nice. And now you're so far, I can't target you and others with the large cutter. I mean, I might be able to... Oh, actually, yeah, I still haven't shown you, right? Cyclone. Cyclone would be perfect right now. Line up these guys at the back. And Cyclone. Yeah. It's slightly weaker than the large cutter, I think. But it's effectively a, a longer line. So that's pretty good, right? Oh no, he's gonna do the pillar again. Ow. Well, I don't want to escape. Okay. He can't have a lot of health left, honestly. Oh, and now I can't move, so I can't even reorient uh, myself to hit the closer guy, so I can only hope it's gonna hit him. Yeah, cool. Just enough. One. Yeah. Yeah, so by knowing what kind of spells your enemies do, what the spells do, how they move, how they hit you, how to move around to dodge around them, you can make your your job a lot easier in this game. And yeah, I moved to the side there because I thought he was going to do the line of water pillars. Um, yeah, you probably still want to do just wind cutters. Ow. I might want to get closer. Not too close, obviously, but just in his range. Oh, never mind. I was going to say, just in the range that he might use his water pillar line instead. Because at least I can dodge it if it's not too close. 
Hmm. There's also a thing to know about initiative, like I was saying. Uh, now they're all four of the same type, so it doesn't matter. But when there were two different types, there's clearly a type that's faster than the other. And by realizing that, you can have a guess as to which one goes next more easily. In this case, uh, we can't tell. They're all the same. Probably going to be the one on the left side, but they're all the same, so it's almost impossible to tell. So let's stay far and just do Cyclone. Oh, see, it was the one on the right. I, I was wrong. Oh, well, you got robbed out of that one. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's a good placement. Yeah, I got all four. Nice. They do have more and more HP, which is why you really need to keep getting the spirits. You don't have to pick up all the ones we've been picking up. But imagine if I didn't have the firepower I have now. Ow. Yeah, I really couldn't dodge that one. Get a hell. Okay, now I'll try and do a cyclone again to hit the one at the back. Oh, why did this one not die? Also, why did he not use his water pillar line? Oh, whatever. Didn't want to risk it. Okay. Why were we pointed towards the wall? Okay, whatever. We can see more stones ahead. Hmm. And yeah, be careful in a longer dungeon like that to not hit exit if you don't want to. Oh boy. You know, not a full mana. Uh, like I'm below half even. Like it would take too much to do with them. Okay, so we got arrow stones. But we got a path that doesn't have them. We have to explore and find a mimic. Oof, that hurt, but I hurt him more than me. Oh, look, it's a snail. There we go. That's not the mimics are not so hard, they hit hard, but they're slow, they don't have big movement range you're most likely gonna go first so these though the scorpions are the big trouble in this area for that for example but also because they're everywhere it seems nice that hits everybody where it's at I didn't think I would hit the one on the left there we go. That's such a great placement. So satisfying when that works. That's why Cyclone is good. It, it's kind of hard to predict, but it does move a little bit to the right and a little bit to the left. Um, yeah, that time I missed the left guy for some reason. That seems good. Ah, missed the right guy this time. Hey, as long as I'm not frozen in place, that's fine by me. Okay, do that again. Nice, all the scorpions are gone. I mean, I guess you could say these guys are problematic as well, simply because they can freeze you in place. Um, but it's not horrible, it, it, and it doesn't happen all the time either. It's sort of a low percentage chance. Uh, the the line of water pillar, that's what's killer here because the hallways are sh are kind of thin, so you don't have a lot of side movement, and they tend to spawn closer too because uh, it's not uh, it's not a very big area. If they spawn like behind you like that, yeah, you're fine. 
uh, or ahead of you. I guess I'll make you walk back a little bit to escape if you have to. But it's not horrible. But if they spawn close, like most likely they'll use their water line, water pillar line, and like hit you pretty hard. Hmm. Why is there just a random big room with nothing? Or are they expecting to add a new type of enemy here? But only starting from this room? I don't know. But at least it's not confusing. We're still going forward. Ooh, more mimics. Yeah, yeah, spawning too close. That was, that was literally my point. Why well, you gotta demonstrate exactly what I just said, bastard. Also, I will not go in melee with those. Again, right, the water pillar line is just so strong. And this is strong too, but because there's a single target, it's really not that bad. And don't, don't forget that uh, healing level 2 for now, as long as you don't improve your water more, is fairly useless you might as well just use the first one hey okay so we come out here and if you don't think of looking back around you're not going to notice these stones with the arrows you're just going to keep going forward but what's forward you say well, we'll go find out a mimic right god damn it Ooh, I think all of them hit there. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'll use three again. Yeah, because I think uh, even if all three hit of uh, level two, I think it would not have been enough to kill him, so. Okay. Aha, back here we have a chest. Or is that a mimic? No, it's a chest. A hero's drink. Hmm. That's all right. Since we have heals, it's not so bad. Okay, and we fall on MP too, so that will that'll be easy. Yeah, these guys are really not a big threat. Um, I think. Yeah. The large cutter is still much stronger than the cyclone. But it's a shorter range uh, in the depth. It's a little wider, I think, than the cyclone can cover. So when you get more and more spells, it's really up to you to determine what exactly you need with the placement you have. See there, technically I spent, ooh, I spent way too much MP. One simple wind cutter would have done it, but I wasn't sure. I didn't pay attention to how many yeah, points of damage I did to that one. Okay, did we get anything new this time? Yes, here we are. So wind, fire, and then earth gives us a slow enemy. That That's a debuff, obviously. Um, it's not going to do much. It's going to just shrink their area of movement, the octagon here. It's just going to shrink that a little bit for them while they have the debuff on. And it's not going to last long either, just like the buffs we have. So I never really use it unless it's something that has like a massive, massive movement range that I need to escape from. But even then, why don't I just use the escape spell, which we get earlier through water. I guess if you really purely go wind, yeah, sure. But there we go. We got a dead mimic. Okay. Now we're back to this bigger room. And by doing that, we would finally spot the stones. If we didn't look that way at all, Coming back from the dead end where the chest is, we would absolutely spot these stones. So, good game design there. They hit it, not too much, but 
they wanted to sort of waste your time or your mana or your HP, depending on you know how you're handling the game. But if you're doing good, eh, going a side path is not that big a deal. All right. Uh, yeah, this ex this episode is quite long, and there's still a long way to go, so I'm going to have to call this one here. Uh, but we will return shortly to uh, get out of this damn cave, because I do not like it. So, see you next time, guys, on Quest 64.